This episode of Casual Friday is brought to you by Gamefly. What is the statute of limitations on peeing on someone? I don't know. They're Probably it goes state by state. Yeah. You know, here with this candy, that you know, I, or, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a dangerous word. It's yes. kind of verb yeah. mode. How can we relate this to video game controversy? Mm. Mm. Candy and video. Yeah, games. I've been reading the articles about this Candy Crush thing today, and it's just, mm -hmm. I'm just angry. Mm -hmm. I'm well, just angry. Okay, you know what's the part that actually surprised me the most? It didn't occur to me that someone could trademark candy. A, uh, that, you can trademark anything. No, you, yeah, but it just hasn't crossed my mind. But no one has? Yeah, n no one has. I, I know, granted, they can only use candy in connection with software. Right. But still, no one, I mean, candy has played a prominent role to some extent in video games, I, I think. Maybe. Uh, Actually, uh, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure, well, there was the, uh, the game that, correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm probably wrong, but wasn't Bejeweled based off of a candy game that EA did with Pogo? Sweet Sugar, really like Sweet Tooth, something I'm like that? I'm not sure. I actually I don't, know. don't know this one. Or maybe maybe it was the other Bejeweled way around. Bejeweled was PopCap, which yeah. is owned by EA, so. But they well, weren't they, always. They, no, but not back then. They, right. Yeah, this was, this then. There was a Pogo game hmm. uh, called Sweet Tooth that I think Bejeweled off. Or it could have been the other way around. I find it funny I because you know I would go to your show to find all this out. I, and I would go to <laughs> and I would go to the internet to find that out. In that particular case, it wouldn't come off of my brain like most of it. But okay, yeah. so they have Candy. Yes. And they have Saga. I know all their other games. I can't remember what they are. It's like Fish Saga and Pet uh, Saga, Pets. Poop Saga. Do they have Poop Saga? Like Probably. Bubble, bubble Wizard Saga. Yeah. I don't know. Um, they don't so, have that many games though. I think they have quite a few. I looked at their Wikipedia page and I saw like only five or six that were oh. still in existence, but maybe that's yeah, not Yeah, maybe complete. they had it, but yeah, so, uh, I mean, I, uh, Saga? Really, yeah. that was more shocking. Because Saga actually means what it's intended for in the Banner Saga. Yeah. It's like Norse, It's like an you know, Icelandic history. myth that does, yeah. yeah. it's okay. like. But, but Saga's in so many games, and no one thought to get it. No. No. And then, so, so maybe most video game publishers are a little more beneficent than we actually give them credit for, except for King. Have, yeah. they, got, have they gone after Crush yet? No. No. So we can still we can still have well, yeah. games about having a crush on someone. Well, or somebody crushing or, someone. Or, or or sodas. Or so, oh yeah, yeah. Oh maybe they Orange have that. Crush, yeah. Maybe Crush has the they can't get. Yeah, crush but once again, the soda. but they only have these names as it pertains to software. Right. What about soft drinks? Who knows. We, we can see um, quite a battle of the titans here. I saw a tweet from Brian Provinciano today that was like, what happens when Hasbro wants to make a Candyland uh, iPhone game nope. and they can't? Yeah. Which is even funnier because as he pointed out, there's a character in Candyland called King Candy. You're right. Is he the yeah. king of the Candyland? He's the king of the Candyland, yeah. yes. Yeah. Not like King Friday. No. Right. The King Candy. King Candy. Yeah. So, I think the part that kind of bums me out is the, the argument that they're using when they're like, whoa, whoa, we're just doing this to pre prevent all the knockoffs. It's a very viable argument that kind of ignores the fact that, oh, so you're trying to make sure that if someone does an actual knockoff of your game, you can go after them. But in the process of doing that, you can kind of take out everyone else who probably has to pay you some licensing fee or get, you know, or, or something. It's just, it, it's so, I don't know, is that bootstrapping? I, don't know, I watched too much Law and Order. I was saying, you're boot strapping. Yeah. I'm like, I don't have a boot. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I was reading about it this morning, and it's like a lot of people see something like that and assume that any, like, Banner Saga is not going to be able to get released, which is not the case. Like, well, Banner Saga 2, they want to work on the yeah. sequel. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you can still use the word candy in your game. Apparently, like, when you, when you register a trademark, or when you file a trademark like that, it doesn't become registered for five years. Mm -hmm. And in that five years, they have to basically aggressively pursue anybody else yep. who tries to infringe on it. And then I, after the five years, once it becomes registered, that's when they can actually sue people. Okay, so what they're trying to do is they're trying to protect Candy Crush right. from Candy Crush knockoff games. As if candy is the you know most important aspect of Candy yeah, Crush. As if Candy yeah. Crush no, wasn't it's already right. knockoff of Bejeweled. Yeah. Well, but, but, it's, but it's also, it's like, someone could just call it Poop crush. Yeah. And, and, and it plays exactly the same, except it's probably of a, of a, of a browner color. And like, I mean. I'm gonna make uh, 
Poop Squash Story <laughs> is, is, my, is my game. Poop Squash Chronicles. Yes. I'm, I'm just gonna do Poop Saga. What? No, I mean, you can't do Saga, sir. Yeah, you can't do right, Saga. Right, can't right. do Saga. I mean, yeah. Poop Squash Story is, is what happens to me every morning. Well, so somebody, there's a candy jam, jam now. Have you heard of this? Candy jam? Somebody ma is mm. making a game jam where you can only make games that have candy in the title or saga oh. or apple. I thought you were talking about things. actual candy jam. No, that <laughs> yeah, that's spread on something that's spreadable that's really bad for you. <laughs> that will probably be one of the games in the candy jam yeah. if there are smart enough people there. I want to go to this candy jam. The, 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 yeah, I mean, it's you know, this is kind of this this falls within the realm of all the stuff that's happening with the patent trolling, mm -hmm. and it's like you know these these laws were in place to facilitate innovation and allow you know they've just been turned on their ear and it's yeah. really 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 sad. Yeah. yeah, it really is. And like I told you when we were coming over here, the king of that, at least in the entertainment world, was Gene Simmons, who trademarked OJ. Like you cannot say OJ. We're referring to orange juice. We're referring to orange juice because he looked at it and figured out that no one had trademarked OJ yet. You know, happy birthday, you know. Yeah. Someone, someone owns the right Someone owns the right that and you can't sing it on, yeah. on camera without paying royalties. That's yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> that's, good lord, that's ridiculous. Yeah. I wish I was that smart. I need to figure out something that I can trademark. Well, I guess the sad thing about the happy birthday one is that someone sat down and really thought through that song that really isn't a song that really says, oh my God, what a masterpiece of composition. Yeah. <laughs> but also that was someone's pain in the ass for like two weeks, <laughs> walking around the house going, oh, ha happy birthday <sighs> to who, to who? <laughs> oh, who is this for? No, you, it's for you. But I can't personalize, oh God. Yeah, yeah. I just, you always hear those arguments from people who are like, well, they have to defend their copyright or otherwise like it completely negates the law. And it's like, that's true. But also those laws are in place to prevent games from like copying other games in a similar fashion. Like all they're well, doing you know, here is trying to set a precedent by yeah. trying to- and, and, and you know, they, 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 Now that they go down that path, they probably do have to aggressively pursue everything. Yeah. Because yeah, when the guy comes around and does the bad thing. But I, like I said, candy just doesn't seem to be the, the, and Saga don't seem to be the game, the important part. I here. think Saga is way more ridiculous than yeah. Candy. Yeah. I mean, I, Candy, has Candy been a central theme in like... I think? In games? In, ga in a game, like... Okay. Well, like you said earlier, Candyland. Candyland, yeah. It is a very central theme in that game. But I mean like apps. <laughs> Otherwise it's just a land. Otherwise it's just yeah, a magical it's, land. It's just a Todd Howard Bethesda game if, if, if you don't have the candy in it. It's filled with <laughs> all sorts of strange creatures. <laughs> Chocolate swamp. But I mean as far as apps go, because the trademark only applies to app, other apps, right? I think it's, I think it's software. Yeah. And so it's yeah. It's so, so if we want to have like an Xbox 360 exclusive, Candy Junction and the candy folk yeah. have a candy time together, I think there might be a problem. I would like this. <laughs> that dog's taking a dump. <laughs> <laughs> the best part about having candy at the park. This is, I'm so distracted by that dog. Yeah, I get a good, get a good look at that. <laughs> that's, that's the new Star of Poop saga. Yeah. And now let's take a moment to thank our sponsor, Gamefly. Gamefly is the world's largest online video game rental service, offering you a choice of over 8,000 new and classic titles across all consoles and handhelds. Plans start at just $15.95 a month, and members can rent one to four games at a time, keeping them for as long as they like. Once you're done playing, just send the game back, and Gamefly will send you the next available game on your list. You can support Rev3 Games and get a free 15-day trial membership by signing up at Gamefly.com casual.